Togo's new parliamentary constitution was promulgated on May 6, following April 29 legislative elections, in which the Union of the Republic won 108 of 113 National Assembly seats. The current president, Fonya Simbe, will remain in office until the election of his successor and the appointment of the speaker by the two chambers of parliament, according to Gilbert Bawara, Minister of the Civil Service and Administrative Reform in the outgoing government. Article 97 of the new constitution stipulates that the first election of the President of the Republic and the first appointment of the President of the Council following the promulgation of this constitution shall take place after the two chambers of parliament are seated. As the deputies have already been elected, all that remains is for the Senate to be set up to elect the President of the Republic and appoint the head of the Council, Mr. Barrara said on national television on Monday, April 27. He explained that two-thirds of the Senate will be elected by local and regional councillors, while the current president will appoint the remaining third. According to Article 50 of the new constitution, the president of the council, head of government, denies and implements national policy, determines foreign policy, and represents the state in international relations. He chairs the Council of Ministers, is commander-in-chief of the armed forces, in charge of the administration and exercises authority over the armed forces and security forces.